Hey guys, Terrence Mackey is here. Welcome to the cookout where you, you, and you are all invited. Um, I'm quarantined, period. Um, I'm throwing it back. I don't think I've had this particular um, item or snack or meal for some people in about maybe I'm sure over seven years. I'm 26 now, so I think maybe before 20. So I'm gonna show y'all the way, and anybody else in the comment section and everything else, let me know if anybody else eats their peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Do not mind them as that is jelly. So as you can see, it's peanut butter and jelly. I made them both kind of different, not really different. Like I put peanut butter and then the jelly on one and then the other one I made jelly first and peanut butter on the other. I just was being extra, but. And I just made four for you guys. I normally would just eat one, but I wanted y'all to see peanut butter and jelly on Sara Lee Honey Wheat Bread. So I wanna see, let me know if anybody else eat theirs like this. I learned this from my great, great grandmother, um, Hazel Argue was my great great grandmother and I remember staying with her as all families do in the hood. Everybody stay with their grandma. Um, so yeah, I'm going to eat it. This is the only way, by the way, that I would eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I do not eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches regularly anymore because it's more like a kid's thing. As you guys can see, I have my candy dandy cup of milk, my co-host milk, okay? So yeah, so now I'm going to eat. This is one of my snacks for today. Um, so this is my first time eating today. So this, this is what I'm eating. So just let me know if anybody else eats theirs like this or knows anybody to eat like this. When I told people this is how I eat it, they are like, what? I don't really think it's that weird. You guys can let me know. I don't think it's that weird. I mean, it's just simple, but this is the only way that I eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, okay? This won't be long. Um, you guys can follow me on Instagram at rebels underscore artwork. I will put that in the description box below. This will already be on my IGTV live um, as well. Um, everybody say hey to, um, I think this is, this is not Defeaty off of, um, we named all of our paint, our porches in our house and her probably name is N Nubia or something like that. I think I call her Nubia. Um, but yeah, so yeah, so here we go. Let's get right into it. I'm not gonna talk too much. Uh, maybe, I don't know, but here we go. And I did make a mess on some of them. I got jelly all over the place, which is normal. I mean, I just can't get it. My hands are clean and washed everybody. Making sure y'all do that. Okay, here we go. Peanut butter jelly sandwich, the only way that I eat a peanut butter jelly sandwich is this way, okay? I'm gonna do a thumbnail as well. Okay, so this is the only way that I would eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Mm, so good. Mmm. Ooh. The jelly and the peanut butter is so good together, the sweet and the salty. I love that. I don't know why my great grandma used to do this, but ever since she taught me, it was so good. I think why I don't like dry things. I don't like eating dry, dry food. I remember. So, this reminds me of when I was a kid. All of you. Um, I'm the person to put extra mayo, extra sour cream. Extra everything. Really. I don't like, not like dry foods. Now, the only reason that this is honey wheat, Sarah Lee is because this is what everybody likes to eat in my house. But I would normally eat my peanut butter jelly sandwich with only white bread. I don't really like wheat bread, but as you get older, you know, you have a different palate. Mmm. 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 
Astaga Si Bayu ini mana Bayu? That's me So how's everybody doing? Is this weird or is this normal? I can't eat it like that That's what the feeling did like. You know that peanut butter feel? Well, we need some milk. I don't even feel like that. And if you're lucky, you get crumbs. Okay, this may get a little nasty. You get crumbs of peanut butter jelly at the bottom, and when you drink all your milk, it's so good. I probably will not eat this again for another five to seven years, by the way. Peanut butter jelly sandwich. Anybody also, if y'all eat it like this, and also tell me if it's a food that you don't eat anymore because it's kind of like a kid food, but growing up, it was four of us in my household, so it's certain foods growing up and more poverty areas um, that you eat a lot. So where I'm from, I'm from the Midwest. I'm from Illinois, Chicago, South Suburbs, Chicago, whoever you want to say, but I'm from Illinois. Certain things I don't eat anymore is like those foods like noodles. Um, not saying I will never eat them again, but I really touch them. I eat what I want to eat now, if that makes sense. I don't eat what I have to eat. Noodles, peanut butter, jelly sandwiches, sometimes sandwiches in general, sometimes even subs will turn me off. Like I don't even want a sub sandwich because it's too close to a sandwich, like a bologna sandwich or a, a hot dogs. Mm -hmm. you know, noodles, hot dogs, peanut butter, jelly sandwiches. Sandwiches in general, those are kind of foods that I don't really partake in anymore. I kind of eat what I want. Because sometimes those are the foods that your mama do. Y'all remember that? Your mama and them will come home with all the good stuff and then they bring you the, the skimpy stuff. Like, I ain't cooking or I ain't got no money because there ain't no McDonald's because y'all got peanut butter jelly sandwich in the house. And then she come home or he come home with a big ass baconator or something. Like, what? Mm -mm. So I think they did it for me, y'all. This was two sandwiches, by the way. It was pretty good. Y'all, let me know. If y'all try this, let me know. You know what it is why I think some people, it's the texture. Soggy bread for some people, they can't do. But like, it's better for me because I don't like dry bread. Or the peanut butter, except or the peanut butter is dry. So when something is dry, I don't like it. That could even be okay. My black card is revoked. Cornbread. I don't really like cornbread. Y'all let me know the foods that y'all don't eat no more because, you know, just ate it too much when you was little. Just like, ugh. These are, oh, I just knocked off. Back on there. But these are one of the foods that I no longer really eat because ate it too much when I was little. But this was nostalgic for me. Mm. Sometimes you have a little jelly. But now to wash it all down. This is the side. How y'all doing doing this social distancing and carrying on? I hope all is well. Um, I got more videos and stuff, more content for y'all to see. My YouTube is Terrence Mackey Eats on YouTube. I'm still working on editing, guys, so the videos will be coming as soon as possible. Um, 
Instagram, I'll be posting a lot there. My Instagram, like I said, I'll put below. Um, if this, if I decide to put this on my Facebook as well, then everybody can follow me at Rebels underscore Artwork, R E B E L S underscore A R T W O R K. Okay. Now, yes. Oh, and there's some at the bottom. I don't know if y'all can see that. I don't know if I'm gonna drink all this because I'm not a big milk drinker, but to wash that down. That was better than I thought, bitch. Excuse me. Excuse my French. That was better than I thought. The milk. I mean, I like milk, but growing up I also like sugar, so I like chocolate milk or just chocolate milk. I didn't like strawberry milk either, but that was better than damn sandwich. I like when that little grit get down there because there's little pieces of peanut butter and jelly in there. Like, that's so weird to people. Okay, guys. Well, thank you guys for joining me in the cookout. I know they. this is a weird cookout menu. Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches um, dipped in milk. So please let me know. Does anybody else eat things like that? I learned this from my great-grandmother. God rest her soul. Um, and it's how I've kind of always ate it ever since I was little. After that, after she showed me that, I've never ate a peanut butter jelly sandwich that way again. So I just thought it was pretty cool to come on here and show y'all how I eat my peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. The only way I eat my peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Yes, also, my hair is not dead, guys. So obviously, everybody here not dead. I'm a wild child right now, okay? I love y'all. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. Turn on the notifications, and I will... Um, be posting as soon as I learn this editing thing. Obviously, I have my iPhone that I'm recording on now. I'm still learning on how to do all of those things with my iPhone. But this will be on my IGTV and on my Instagram page for mukbangs. I do mukbangs, so I'm starting mukbangs, ASMR, and all those other good things. I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for stopping into the cookout. Well, you, 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 and all of you guys are always invited. Let me know in the comments how do y'all eat y'all um, peanut butter jelly sandwiches and if y'all ever tried it this way and also the foods that you refuse to eat again because it's kind of been um, what the new music when everybody play it played out. I don't eat noodles, peanut butter jelly sandwiches, sandwiches, um, hot dogs. No, no, no. Okay? All right. I love y'all. See y'all later. Peace.